Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And I know I said that last tier list I made, the 2020 Spirit Halloween tier list I made was going to be the last one, but I decided I'd redo a few more tier lists. And uh, yeah, starting with the year 2021. So this is the Spirit Halloween 2021 animatronic tier list remastered, I guess you could say. Um, starting off with two scoops. Oh, by the way, there's a bunch of doubles in this tier list. I don't know why the hell the person did that, but... Um, okay, so starting off with two scoops. This is a clown prop that I originally, when it first came out, I originally thought it was really cool. But then I started reading reviews about it. Lots of reviews about how he's breaking and he's made of freaking like horrible plastic and horrible stuff. Like he's not, you know, a reliable prop at all. But for this tier list, I literally, I just want to, you know, rank these animatronics on overall the character and if I like it or not not ba not based on you know the reliability or the prices or anything like that so um yeah two scoops I still kind of like but he's kind of grown off me I'm gonna put him in B because he um he's kind of goofy his their phrases are kind of goofy and uh their faces are definitely kind of goofy but I like how it's really tall and it's a very unique clown. It's probably one of the most unique clown animatronics from Spirit Halloween of all time. And uh, the animation's fine. So, yeah. But um, overall, kind of a goofy clown, but still a nice concept. Uh, here we have Beetlejuice, which is an animatronic that I, uh, at one point, was thinking of getting. But then I realized he was pro probably too expensive. But um, overall, I think the prop is pretty cool. I'm going to put him in A tier because... I think, uh, you know, after watching the movie Beetlejuice and then seeing this guy in person in 2021, I think he does, you know, I think he does the character justice. I think he looks very movie accurate. And uh, he's a great uh, replica of Beetlejuice from the movie. So, yeah, um, not the scariest prop, obviously, since Beetlejuice isn't really supposed to be a scary uh, character. Uh, but he's still, like, very movie accurate and he's pretty cool. Um Bloody Bag of Jokes, he's also probably, yeah, going to go into A tier. In fact, I like him a little bit more than Beetlejuice. Uh, I think he's another really unique clown. Like, he's upside down and blood is all over his mouth. And he's talking about how, you know, he needs to, he needs to get down. So, yeah, I think he's really cool. I think it's really cool that they had him return in 2021. And, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have to say about Bloody Bag of Jokes. Henry Hustle, uh, this is the first clown, or first animatronic, going into S tier. Now, yes, Henry Hustle is a pretty faulty animatronic, um, but I've heard stuff about how if you like stretch out his like spring, he'll last longer and have a better jump scare, so that's cool. But overall, he's a great and unique clown animatronic. I love how, you know, his overall look is really cool, like antique and vintage looking. Like he looks like a vintage clown that honestly looks pretty friendly from the outside. But when you activate him, he uh, pops his regular normal head up and reveals his demonic face, which is really creepy and really scary. And it's a really unique uh, way to jump scare someone. So yeah, I think it that this prop turned out well. Um, and I I really had a fun time seeing him in person. He looks really cool in person. But yeah, that's Henry Hustle, first S tier prop of 2021. And I'm sure you know which others are going to go in S tier. Um, or if there's only one more. But yeah, Henry Hustle, great clown. One of the best clowns of all time. Uh, yeah, Mr. Dark up next, immediately going into S tier. Pretty much like no reason for me to explain why he's going into S tier at this point. But I'll say it for the sake of the video. His jump scare is phenomenal. I, um, 2021, that was the first year we saw anything like um, that, where he jumps so high into the air that it could maybe even give someone with heart problems a heart attack, which I think is insane. Uh, Mr. Dark is absolutely phenomenal. <coughs> His jump scare is the best probably of, yeah, definitely the best of all time from Spirit Halloween. Uh, tied with, of course, Hellspawn and 
Tara and Tallulah because they're the same jump scare. But um, yeah, Mr. Dark, amazing. He will be a classic forever. And he'll be one of the, uh, he'll always be one of my favorite spirit alien animatronics of all time. I also really like his face, his classic Reaper face. But it's cool because he doesn't really, ha- he doesn't have a hood. So it's like not really the most uh, original Reaper. It's like kind of like a different, unique Reaper without the hood, which I like. So yeah, Mr. Dark, really cool. Buzzsaw. Hmm. Yeah, I like Buzzsaw. And I like him enough, I think, to put him in A tier. A bit ahead of Beetlejuice. Yeah. Ahead of Beetlejuice. Should I put him ahead of Bag Bloody Bag of Jokes? No, I think he's in the middle of these two because he's one that looks really cool in person, like really big in person as well. He's he's got a ginormous wingspan. And his animation's cool. He moves from side to side. His mouth moves. <laughs> and his buzzsaw moves, which is really cool. Uh, he is really creepy. I love his light-up eyes and his scarred-up face. I love it whenever Spirit Halloween releases, you know, like a human-type animatronic. And Buzzsaw is definitely a human. I don't think he's really supposed to be a zombie. But he does have lots of scars on him, which I guess could make some people think he's supposed to be a zombie. But I don't think he is. I think he's just supposed to be some crazy man who is insane so yeah buzzsaw really cool one of my favorites of that year caretaker i actually never got to see this prop in person because if you remember the 2021 the 2021 animatronic shipments were horrible for spirit halloween so um yeah they were really delayed and some animatronics never even got shipped to stores uh so but i never got to see caretaker in person but from the videos and from what i've seen He's actually kind of grown on me lately. But I don't know if I'd put him in B. Maybe I would. Yeah, bottom of B. He's actually grown on me. I used to diss on him. I used to say, this guy is weird. But um, he's grown on me quite a bit, actually, since I've um, talked about him. So, yeah, that's the caretaker going into B. Uh, Here's Ophelia. And, yeah, Ophelia is literally the like worst version of little daisy and the maestro and no they're not at all similar i know they're not at all similar in size little daisy and the maestro is way bigger but um it's kind of the same concept where you know little daisy and the maestro it has like a the maestro is controlling the little girl whereas in this prop it's the demon i guess you could say behind the little girl who could be controlling her and possessing her so it's very similar to little daisy and the maestro but it's way worse and yeah i don't like it really it turned out kind of bad i like the look of the demon i'll be honest i like the look of the demon behind her but other than that this thing looks so plasticky and so um cheaply made so yeah ophelia is not that good uh Ghostface, the Hauntress reskin Ghostface. Uh, I have to say, I never got to see this one in person either, but he's better than I originally said he was, and he's better than Hauntress. I have to say that. I think the Ghostface Hauntress reskin is a lot better than Hauntress, just because I like... It's literally because I like the character Ghostface more than the character of the Hauntress. So it's... um, yeah, but it's weird that they chose to reskin the Hauntress as a ghost face. I don't I would never really understand that. I will never understand it. But yeah, I like I said, you know, the shipments were horrible in 2021, so I never got to see some animatronics from that year, including Ghostface and the Caretaker. But yeah, Ghostface it was decent, it was better than the Hauntress in my opinion. You know, you know, I'll move him to the bottom of B, actually. I'll move him to the bottom of B. I can't believe I'm actually doing that. But the ghost face this year is a lot better than this ghost face. I will say that. But yeah, ghost face, Hauntress reskin, that's actually better than the Hauntress, which is probably a very unpopular opinion, but I don't really care. Um, here we have Harriet Hustle, one of the only female clowns in history in Spirit Halloween. I'm putting her pretty high. I got to see her in person, but it was only one day, and then my local Spirit Halloween immediately got rid of her. I don't know why. Maybe someone bought her or maybe she broke. But, you know, I gotta say she's gonna go to the top of A because 
I just think she's so creepy and it's so cool to have a female clown instead of the, you know, the regular just male clown. Uh, but yeah, I think she's really cool and it's cool that they're adding a lore into it. Like she's uh, Henry Hustle's daughter and yeah, she's very creepy. I love how she's swinging with, you know, a blade in her mouth. Really, really creepy and really sinister and uh yeah, she looks really cool. I saw her in person one time and then didn't get to see her ever again, but that was fine. Uh, yeah, really cool. Here's Grave Grabber. And uh, yeah, it's not really that bad, but it's not good because it's like, it's just, it's something you'd assume to find in like CVS or maybe even... Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> Dollar Tree? No, probably not Dollar Tree. CVS, I think. Uh, yeah, Grave Grabber. Still a pretty neat, like, addition to get if you want, like, if you're doing a cemetery theme. But I think he's too expensive, definitely, because he's so small. And uh, all, his, all he does is his animations. Like, I can't even explain his animation. It's just kind of weird. He's just, like, grabbing at the grave and, like, moving his mouth. But it's fine. It's definitely kind of scary if you think about it, but it's still weird. Um, so I'm putting out the top of C. I like it better than Ophelia, which is something I thought I'd never say. Grim. Now, I'm going to get myself in trouble for saying this, but I think Grim is not as good as I used to think he was. And I really do think he's overrated. And he's more, like, he's more hype than scary. He's more, like, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm not a big fan of Grimm at all anymore. I used to like him, but I don't really like him anymore. He's kind of grown off me. I'm going to put him at the bottom of B. He's decent. I like his servo animation. That's obviously pretty uh, unique and cool. But he's at the end of the day, he's a skeleton. That's talking and yeah it's a talking skeleton what can i say yeah i'd never yeah i don't i'm kind of yeah i don't really like him anymore uh but i understand why some people do here we have mr howell and he is a really cool werewolf i'm gonna put him like yeah he's better than beetlejuice for sure he might even be better than buzzsaw no, I don't think he's better than Buzzsaw. Uh, so I think he's like right here at the bottom of A, at the in the middle of Buzzsaw and Beetlejuice, because he's a really cool werewolf and he's really intimidating and scary in person. His face and his head is ginormous. His jaw is ginormous. Um, and the sad thing about Mr. Hal is every time I saw him in person, his mouth wasn't working. So I think maybe the mouth is a bit faulty on him, maybe. But other than that, he's a great werewolf animatronic. And even with the mouth not moving, he's still pretty intimidating and creepy and scary. So yeah, one of the better werewolf animatronics from Spirit Halloween, in my opinion. So yeah, that's Mr. Howell. Um, here we have Wacky Mole Clown. And I'm going to have to put him at the top of B. Well, maybe I don't like him as much as Two Scoops. I don't know. Well, no, I'll probably... Yeah, I, never mind. He's at the top of B. He's better than two scoops. Um, I like his design. I like his face, his giant smile. His He's like a crazy clown. He's a clown that's been driven absolutely insane. But <clears throat> back in 2021, I was, I was pretty much just over-exaggerating how much I liked him. I don't really... I like him. He's a nice, unique clown. But at the end of the day, he's kind of goofy. And he's not really that scary. So yeah, that's Wacky Mole Clown. Cool that they had him return in 2021, but I would have much rather preferred Barnyard Butcher or uh, Pumpkin Nester to return. So yeah, but still, Wacky Mole Clown, pretty cool. Uh, Barry. Yeah, I I never saw this guy in person in 2021, but I saw him, of course, in 2022. And uh, he's fine. He's not like that good he's kind of unique i guess but i'm gonna have to put him honestly at 
at the top of C tier. And whoa, Grim is better than Ghostface. I don't know why I had it like that. But um, yeah, Barry is fine. He's not like that scary. I don't think, I mean, he's a nice walkthrough prop and it's good that they had him in the walkthrough in 2022. But other than that, he's not really that good in my opinion. So yeah, that's Barry. Experiment, num <laughs> experiment number four, another one I never got to see in person, but this is a prop that you literally don't even have to see in person to make your uh, final thoughts on it. It's literally just a red hand coming out of a box or whatever you want to call that, a cage. Uh, so yeah, F tier for sure. Not scary at all. Bad jump scare, bad design, bad idea, bad concept, bad everything. Nothing positive at all I have to say about this thing. Uh, w Wraith, pretty, uh, he's a pretty bland prop, I have to say. He's boring. He's, I mean, there's lots of people who like him, but he's just boring. If you, at the end of the day, he's literally a white sheet over a light up foam body, which is kind of disappointing. And he's pretty boring in my opinion. He's really bad actually, now that I think about it. In fact, maybe... I have to put him in F. No, I don't think he compares to experiment number four. Uh, but yeah, W Wraith, not good at all in my opinion. Uh, here we have Evelyn Leach. This is one going into... Man, I don't even... I kind of hate her, to be honest. She's kind of weird. I'm putting her in F because... Uh, Oh, she's better than experiment number four, but she's bad. She's one of the worst, obviously, of 2021 because all she does is cry and then her an only animation is her lifting her husband's head, which there's absolutely no gore on her at all, which sh there should be. There should be blood on the bands on her husband's cut off head, but no, Spirit is so... <sighs> I can't believe they didn't add gore to this prop. If even... but. To be honest, even if they did add gore to this prop, it probably still wouldn't be one of my favorites. It would probably be in like D or maybe bottom of C. But yeah, Levin and Leech, really boring and annoying prop, to be honest. Oh, speaking of annoying, Night Stalker. Yeah, I don't like this thing at all. So annoying. The laugh is so annoying. I guess I'll say it's better than experiment number four. But it's really annoying. The laugh, more annoying than Lucky Bottoms. And as an owner, as a certified owner of Poor George, I can say he's more annoying than Poor George. Uh, but um, yeah, he's so. And I did get to see him in person, and he did not look good at all in person. He looked freaking cheap as hell. He looked like he could fall apart if you just slightly bumped into him. So yeah, Night or Night Stalker. Have I been calling him Nightcrawler? If I have, I'm sorry. That's absolutely insane. Night Stalker. Horrible Scarecrow prop, one of the worst of all time, if not the worst Scarecrow from Spirit Halloween of all time. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's my Spirit Halloween 2021 animatronic tier list. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, by the way, that's not it. I just forgot Baphomet. I forgot to uh, rank Baphomet. So Baphomet, um, I, can't, I don't know why I put him in doubles, I thought. I had it all figured out, but, um, Baphomet was actually pretty cool. I'm going to put him, I never got to see him in person. I'm going to put him ahead of, uh, yeah, right here at the bottom of a, he's better than Beetlejuice. Not as good as Mr. Hal. Uh, he's very cool though. He's a nice, like skeletal lamb. I don't know, goat or lamb animatronic. He's unique. He's very devilish and demonish. Like he's like, he's like a hell prop. He's definitely very hell-like. So, <coughs> yeah, I do like him. It's too bad I never got to see him in person, though. But, yeah. Um, but there you have it. That's my Spirit Halloween 2021 animatronic tier list. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And, yeah, I will be doing a, a remastered version of the Spirit Halloween 2022 animatronic tier list and then 2023 i'll probably do again too so yeah uh that's 2021 and uh yeah overall this was a pretty good year only two s tier props a bunch a tier 
and then some down here that were pretty bad. But yeah, uh, that was the Spirit Halloween 2021 animatronic tier list. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.